I think CAR T cell therapy offers a potential for deep and durable responses in myeloma patients. Um, these are patients who have often progressed after all standard lines of myeloma therapy and don't have very many options. And we see that patients can get really good deep responses that are lasting for one year or more in some cases. Practically for patients, I think an important aspect of this therapy is that they really do uh, have an improvement in their quality of life after CAR T cell therapy. So for the duration of their response, patients post CAR T cell therapy do not need alternative myeloma medications. So they don't need to take a maintenance image. They don't need to take chronic corticosteroids. And I think this really improves um, how, how patients function on a day-to-day -day basis. Patients have told me, um, especially between months two to six and beyond, that their energy levels have returned um, definitely to pre-car baseline, but in some cases, even to levels that they had prior to being diagnosed with multiple myeloma. But it's still an imperfect therapy as at this point. Um, myeloma is an incurable disease and CAR T cell therapy thus far is not curative. I think exploring alternative antigens that we can target alongside BCMA will be an important next step um, to bringing to potentially finding a cure for myeloma with CAR T cell therapy. Um, and I think that's why it's important to um, to look at CAR T cell constructs that may be amenable to future bispecific or bisistronic constructs. Um, further extramedullary myeloma tends to be um, still very difficult to treat. And I think as we explore um, novel CAR T cell therapies in the future, we need to also focus on if we can optimize this therapy to treat extramedullary disease.